Get ready to turn back the clocks. This Sunday marks the end of daylight saving time, meaning an extra hour of sleep for many of us. But it's not just about rest. Changing the clocks can also impact our routines, safety, and health. We'll break down everything you need to know, including tips to maintain good health. You're not really gaining an hour. You shouldn't plan anything extra like remodeling your kitchen or your bathroom, uh, no major travel plans or anything because you're just disrupting your regular routine. Sure, we're turning the clocks back, but still it can disrupt the way your body functions. It can cause um, a mood disorder, it can cause uh, sleep disturbances, and it also can affect uh, your uh, production of cortisol and melatonin, which melatonin is a uh, agent that helps us, a hormone that helps the body regulate rest and sleep. So it can do, do some, and especially if you have pre-existing conditions, it can exacerbate um, diabetes, you know, um, you can, you're, you're metabolizing, um, it'll affect the way you metabolize glucose. So it can do, do some, um, do some affect your neck, affect your health negatively. A few tips to help with the time transition. Adjust your sleep schedule. Consider shifting your bedtime by about a half an hour, a few days before the time change to help your body align more naturally. Wake up at the same time every morning, even on weekends, to stabilize your circadian rhythm. Maximize your exposure to daylight. Try to spend a little time outdoors early in the morning or in the afternoon to increase exposure to natural light. That'll help regulate your internal clock. Optimize your evening routine. Maybe dim the lights one to two hours before bedtime to signal to your brain that it's time to wind down and avoid screen time too close to bedtime, something we're all guilty of. Stay active during early evening hours and cautious while driving or walking outside in the evening. Darker conditions can increase accident risks. Prioritize sleep hygiene. That means keep your bedroom cool, quiet, and dark to encourage restful sleep. And maybe consider a white noise machine or earplugs to block out disturbances. Monitor your body's signals. If you notice persistent fatigue, mood issues, or sleep disturbances, it may be helpful to adjust your routine further. Check with a healthcare provider if mood changes or sleep disruptions persist. You should also change the batteries in your smoke detector, your CO2 detector, a uh, good time to check the filter in your refrigerator if you have a water filter in your refrigerator. Uh, go around and check the timers you have set on any lights in your house that are you know, preset or your home security system. Maybe even your thermostat might be on a timer setting uh, to help manage the cost of heating in the wintertime. For TV20, I'm health reporter Richard Stewart.